Hey guys! So today is actually the last day of my university and I will just have a few last exams and afterwards holidays. This is actually my uni, if you don't know. <laughs> and yeah, I'm free for today. I'm gonna smell some perfumes and you are coming with me. So guys, look what I found. They have a new flanger of Elisab's Girl of Now. This is the original fragrance and this is the flanker. It is called Shine. So I am going to do a wear test and actually compare them. The original one goes on my left wrist and the flanker goes to the right. I love the packaging very much. Both bottles are very cute. I love these um, light blue pastel one a little bit more and they actually smell very similar the original one is sweeter and I love its sweetness it's not sticky it is very like honey like beeswaxy leptinumi almost and the, the flanker is more floral but also sweet so let's see how they develop and uh, I just love this designer perfume and I'm back in my car and I'm gonna drive home right now, but I wanted to update you about perfumes. I went to the post office and the lady there told me that I smell really, really nice and I love to get compliments for my perfumes and see, this perfume girl of now definitely is a crowd pleaser, so you will get compliments for it. It is definitely noticeable. It is the perfume that is not quiet. It does project really well. And all in all, the original one, it smells sweet. It smells almondy, delicious, and just a tiny bit something floral is present. In the new one, the floral element is more dominant and it also has something clean to it as well as very sweet, which is quite interesting. I would say that I prefer the original uh, one a little bit more than the flanker, but the flanker is also great, so if you already have the original one, you could go for flanker just to, you know, like, to change some things. But all in all, I love them. I just love really sticky, sweet perfumes in the summer when it is hot. And yeah, they project really intensely. And uh, I enjoy them so far and we'll see how they develop. And if I actually get bored of them in the end of the day. Um, I actually love the opening a little bit more than the fragrances, than actually the development. So I think the dry down will be... Mwah! But so far great perfumes and if you love something very sweet and you want compliments girls this perfume girl of now is something that you need to check out and now I'm gonna drive home with you and by uni we will see each other when I will have my exams whoa I'm so dark I'm actually super afraid when I have exam I'm I'm super nervous. My I'm a super nervous person. I'm afraid of everything, of everything. But when I need to to like do exams or or when I need to be on public and just to present something on public, oh my god, I hate that. That's why filming videos in front of the camera is just the perfect job. If I if I could get money for YouTube, I would do it like eight hours a day. Well, I film a lot and then I edit and post and, you know, that takes a lot of time, but I could do it all day long, even longer, because this this is so much fun for me and like, I don't really need to talk to people face to face and uh, I, I just, I love people and I'm quite, I, I'm a very friendly person actually. In person, I'm always friendly and polite. But I'm just a little bit uncomfortable. I'm more an introvert, even though um, among people who I love and who I um, actually am comfortable with, I am quite woohoo, just as I am here on camera because this is like real me. I am like that in the real life. But when I don't know people, I'm very quiet, very quiet. I think that's normal, but I, I just um, noticed that I am 
slightly different when I don't really know people that well. But it depends. If people are very friendly to me, straight away I'm also very friendly. It just depends on the situation. But as I was telling you, I'm super afraid of exams. I have like this panic and I have blackouts. So often in the exam, like writing exam, this is gonna be um, a writing exam, I don't know how to call it, like what you need to write something. Because we also have presentations, when we need to present a topic, I hate that. I hate to stand in front of people, to talk along, and I'm just, I'm super afraid. So I'm gonna drive home because somebody is waiting for parking. We'll see each other really soon. And here is the second check-in. I'm home and I'm gonna eat now but first i want to share with you um my thoughts about this perfume so the flanker turned also very sweet and very kind of like a typical designer perfume very very typical the original one is still more interesting it is very sweet though so i checked the notes on fragrantica it says that it features the note of um, mandarin orange pear and pistachio um, in the top then the middle notes are orange blossom magnolia and almond and base notes are patchouli cashmere tonka bean and almond milk so it is definitely almondy tonka bean in here is like synthetic tonka bean, very very strong. That pistachio, I think that is what I smell in the opening and that is what I like so much. Uh, we have also very gentle white flowers such as orange blossom and magnolia. They are creamy, they are beautiful. So the original one is definitely my favorite. And then the flanker has mandarin and pear in the top as well, as well as pistachio. Um, so that is why it is so similar to the original one, as I've told you in the opening. But it has a lot of pineapple, which is new. Then it also has almond, orange blossom in the heart. But it has two new flowers, jasmine and ylang ylang. And I think the fact that it features that typical jasmine-ish, jasmine um, synthetic note makes it so similar to a thousand of different designer perfumes um, that exist out there. So. That is why I don't really like it that much. And then we have patchouli, iris and vanilla in the base. So people voted for vanilla, almond and jasmine as the strongest notes and I need to agree. And uh, the original one has the strongest notes of almond, tonka and pistachio and then um, cashmere. And I also agree on that. And yeah, I'm gonna eat now because I'm super hungry and maybe I will do another check-in. So my friends, here is the last check-in and my final thoughts. It has been a while since I applied both fragrances and uh, I need to tell you that first I loved them, they were fun and uh, I really enjoyed them and I also enjoyed compliments but now in the very very dry down the last stage of these fragrances I don't like them they turned into typical designer dry down perfume you know it smells just like powdery and very sweet um it is a very common scent almost every designer fragrance that has been launched uh, this year or in the last couple of years has this identical dry down i think you know what i mean if you love to try out different perfumes. I'm sure you notice that there is a certain similarity between them, so I don't like that because it is so typical and actually not that pleasant. But all in all, I find that the girl of now is a good designer perfume for girls and ladies who love sweet, slightly floral perfumes and uh, it is a nice performer, it does project really well, it is not that expensive and I'm sure that men will also enjoy this perfume on the um, ladies because it is something common to something interesting yet familiar. So check it out when you see it next time in the shop and if you have already tried it out, Please let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you enjoy watching these videos in which I put 
to the test design of perfumes, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that helps me out a lot. As you can see, I try to review and share with you my thoughts on designing perfumes more often. And uh, stay tuned, we'll see each other next one really soon.